Hey, Brian. Hello. <laughs> I'm torturing you, aren't I? Well, now we're at El Moro, which is where the cliff dwellings are. This is the only standing water within like 50 square miles. And it all comes from that little hole up there. <laughs> There's people staring at me like I'm weird. Very big cliffs. Whoa. I'm gonna fall over backwards. Alright. Oh, okay, so we hiked all the way to the top of this big cliff mountain thing. And it's a bluff. oh a bluff, okay. Well, it's huge anyway. And here's the ruins. These are some ruins of natives that lived here a long, long, long time ago. And it was abandoned in to the ground floor. We, the, where I just filmed from last, was all the way up there. Up in those racks way up there. Isn't that crazy? Now we're all the way back down here. And we're not even all the way down yet, right? Pretty much. <laughs> I love you. Mm, I love you too. <laughs> 
Am I embarrassing you? <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Alright, okay. here we are again. We're in a great big huge lava tube where lava has flown through the ground. And we're about to walk through it to uh, the other so side. Ice here, so be careful, Trudy. Okay. Oh yeah, and there's snow in here. <laughs> it's freaking cold. And I'm in a tank top. This is probably a bad idea to be filming while I'm trying to climb. Hold on, I'm going to pause this. Okay, so, we're inside the lava tube. And there's a Brian. An indigenous Brian. And there's the other side. Check it out. Isn't this crazy? Lava came through here and made all this rock. I think. Are you breaking rocks? Don't break the scenery. Yeah, it's pretty chilly right here. It's cold, so I'm gonna turn this off and Doesn't keep it. Look cool. We're on the other side now. It's like this is pretty neat. And there's where I have to climb out. Here, you can come with me on my climb out. Hopefully, I don't fall to my doom. Oi. Look at all these lava racks. I have a tiny one in my purse. Oh, there's a Brian again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bike down in here, and it goes back pretty far. Really? I haven't been to the end. I need a flashlight or something to get to the end. Oh, wow. <laughs> you get to where you run out of light. Jeez. Crazy. Ow! I hit my shin on a big oh. rock. And now I'm gonna fall in some prickly bushes. Ooh, okay. Oh. Desert life is brutal. <laughs> wow. Yeah, one day we'll have to bring a flashlight that down here. It does go pretty far back, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't, I don't know how far. It's like a tunnel. It goes way down there. Jeez. I'm climbing the rocks. Oh. I made it without dying. That was a monumental feat. <laughs> Cave softly. Do you let everyone cave softly? No hard caving. Yeah, this is one of the few tubes you can hike in without needing repelling gear. Repelling gear? For what? Most of these, most of these tubes, you need ropes to go down into Yeah? Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's Jeez, it was nice and warm earlier. Are we up? Well, we're in 7,000 feet right now, aren't we? 7,500. 7,500? Yeah. Wow. Just like Aunt Ellie's house in the mountains. No wonder it's colder. And there's more lava tubes that way. But we'll do that on another day. Ooh. Yes, and we still have to come back to El Malpais again and see the, Ven the great big huge Ventana Arch. It's a natural arch in the rocks and then we have to see more lava tubes and stuff. Preserved. All right, I'm gonna go now. 